Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I wanted to show you something. Uh, yesterday we ran the first piece of the 3D printing on the highest quality with the Snapmaker. Um, it turned out really nice. It was smooth. There wasn't too many variances in the surface level of it for running it at that speed. Um, it was nice and slow. Everything came out very crisp. Uh, one thing I wanted to check out though is how it would work running multiple pieces on the quick settings um, without the lowest quality. A lot of 3D printers, depending on the filament, your heat, and a bunch of other things, will leave a lot of stringiness between pieces if it has to jump from one to the other. So I wanted to see exactly how this would turn out using multiple pieces to print with the lowest settings. Now, as you can see, I'm going to move the, car the camera here really carefully. This is crispy. This is absolutely how 3D printing should be. The line here is not any stringiness and neither is this here. This is part of the initial first um, first layer the way that the machine operates but if you look between the pieces there is absolutely no straininess at all whatsoever that is a very very nice feature also to do a quick comparison I did bring back the original piece that I had done the first time so I can get just a little Closer here. As you can see, on the lower settings, there is a little bit of a difference, like I said, between the top, but barely any at all. That's really nice. I'm glad the way this turned out. So I took a piece off of the lowest setting multi print. That is the one that is up here on the right and comparing it to the one down on the left that was the fine settings. And you can see on the top layer the minor imperfections that the fine print does not have. But this is still really nice and there is literally no string. This is right off of the bed and it is very very crispy. So if you wanted to see how it worked doing multiple pieces if you were worried or interested to see if it does the little stringy piece to piece thread from the gun it does not at all not even on the lowest setting this is really nice thanks for watching we'll have another video up soon